Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to introduce Mike Buffone, who will read his essay on giving thanks to our veterans. Mike, come on down. Hello, my name is Michael. I am honored to be standing here in the company of heroes. I am, I am privileged to be here because of the sacrifice that ve all veterans have made. Let me start off by saying thank you to our great American heroes that have served our great country and the troops in current active duty. We as Americans have become so accustomed to freedom that we take it for granted. Freedom is not free. Our men and women in service pay a very high price for our freedom. It is only made possible by the risks and sacrifice by all who have served in our armed forces. They leave everything behind, their home, family, and friends. They pay with their time, their blood, their sweat, their tears, and some pay the ultimate sacrifice with their life. To this I say thank you and God bless you. Because of your selfless service, we here at home live the American dream of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Our brave founders forged this country with sacrifice. Our great country has stood against all evil and has survived against all odds. It has become a beacon of light and hope that shines all around the world. One of the founding fathers, Thomas Paine, said, those who expect to keep the blessings of freedom must undergo the fatigue of supporting it. That's right. We must fight to keep our freedom alive, and our brave American soldiers are the ones doing that. We should never compromise our American values, ideals, and liberties. It is what defines us as people and as a nation. Benjamin Franklin reminded us that those who give up essential liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Today we are here to honor those who died in battle, those who served so proud, and those who still serve today for those American liberties. President Lincoln said that through their deeds, the dead of battle have spoken more eloquently for themselves than any of the living ever could but we can only honor them by rededicating ourselves to the cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. There is no greater sacrifice than to lay down your life for your friends, family, and country. Today we honor their service, their memory, and their memory. They served with dedication, blood, and their lives. In return, they deserve our thanks, praise, and respect. I know that it is not often said, especially for my generation, so it is very important for you all for you to know that my generation appreciates the sacrifice that your generation has made. We are forever in your debt. We will never forget what you have done for us. Because of your generation, mine has the ability to be free. Ronald Reagan put it best when he said, let us continue to stand by the ideals for which they lived and died. So I ask you all to stand with me, stand up for all those ideals and honor, which so many have sacrificed so much. Hold your head up high and always be proud to be an American. I pray that God blesses our troops defending our freedom. I pray that God blesses each and every one of you. And I pray that God continues to bless America. Thank you.